Sydney, welcome to Asia Pacific Queen of Substance Award. I'm so honored to have with me Miss Natalie, Miss Universe 2005 with me today from Canada. Miss Natalie, welcome to Singapore. Thank you very much. Yeah, maybe you could tell me a little bit more about yourself and how do you actually manage to beat over 100 delegates to clinch the award that everyone has been eyeing for? Well, um, in my year, in 2005, the contest was held in Thailand and that was the first time I came to Asia and to Thailand, in fact. And um, throughout the whole three weeks that we were all together with all the delegates, all the contestants, I got to learn a little bit about the culture. I got to learn a few Thai words and a few gestures that Thai people like to do, such as the why, for example, when they say thank you and hello. And um, during the pageant itself, while I was on stage, uh, whenever I was called up or whenever I was being interviewed, I would always do the why. And I would always try to say something in Thai, such as uh, thank you and hello. And of course, during my final question, uh, I managed to answer very well. And I said, Kop uh, which means thank you in Thai. And I did the why. And I think that really won over the audience and won over the judges as well. And I think that gave me a little bit of an advantage over the other contestants who were all from Latin America. I was the only non-Latin American contestant in the top five. I see. I think that was amazing. And so it's all about um, fitting into the culture and um, winning over a little bit of the hearts of the Thai people. You, you in, my, in my case, it was definitely an advantage, yeah. So uh, how was the journey as Miss Universe 2005? And uh, I know it's a one-year journey. What was the cause that you were fighting for as well? So as Miss Universe, um, each Miss Universe takes on the cause of raising awareness and uh, raising money for different organizations who support HIV and AIDS organizations. And uh, during my year, I got to learn a lot about the pandemic that's obviously very prevalent right now in the world. And I got to travel to so many different countries, meeting many dignitaries as well as people who are afflicted with the virus. And I got to learn a lot about the problem. Of course, uh, not only the um, safety of it, but also the fact that there's a lot of stigma associated with this virus and many people get um, stigmatized and discriminated against. So we were trying to raise awareness to tell people that um, there shouldn't be any stigma, first of all, and secondly, of course, to protect yourself and to create awareness for uh, young ladies and, and young people all over the world in general. Definitely. So what do you actually think about, um, if you haven't been Miss Universe, do you think that um, you wouldn't be blessed with such a platform that they could actually reach out to people? Do you think this platform has been useful in reaching out to the public? Absolutely. I think having the Miss Universe title definitely gives me a great platform and a chance to voice my opinions in a public way. Uh, whereas if I wasn't, I probably wouldn't have as much of an impact on other people. So I think even if I got to change the mind and got to maybe influence at least a couple of people throughout my reign, it's definitely all worth it. So maybe you could talk a little bit about, uh, I know this is not your first time to Singapore. Now, how do you like it here? Uh, what do you think of the, the, uh, the weather has been crazy these days? How do you like it or um, it's not really your kind of thing? I've been to Singapore several times and I actually still live in Thailand. It's been uh, already eight years since I've been living in Thailand. And it's actually not quite that different in terms of weather. I'm pretty used to the humidity and the heat and um, Singapore is a great country. I really love coming here. I love the roads, the infrastructure here. Um, it's, it's really fantastic. Yeah. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, it's really a great pleasure having you. I hope you enjoy the night later on. Thank you. So thank you.